to be better, better parents, better neighbors, better citizens, that there would be no problem we could not solve and no challenge, no, no destiny that we could not fulfill. And I am here to say to all of you that after a year of crisscrossing the country, after 12 months of shaking hands and eating chicken dinners and knocking on doors and visiting VFW halls and diners and schools all across the country, I am here to report that my bet has paid off and my faith in the American people has been vindicated because everywhere I go, Americans are telling me they want to turn the page, they want to write a new chapter in American history, they want to go in a new direction, and that's why I'm running for President of the United States of America. See you up now. Dear sir, you see you now. Because I believe there's such a thing as being too late. And that hour is almost upon us. We are at a defining moment in our history. Our nation is at war. Our planet is in peril. The dream that so many generations fought for feels like it's slowly slipping away. And you see it in your own lives. I don't have to tell you. People are working harder for less. They've never paid more for college, never paid more for gas at the pump. It's harder to save, it's harder to retire. Our healthcare system leaves 47 million people without health insurance. And those who haven't have seen their co-payments and deductibles and premiums going up so that more and more families are finding healthcare out of reach. Our school system, despite the slogans, leaves millions of children behind. Millions of children unable to compete in an international economy. Uh, I was traveling in South Carolina during the primary there. They had a building that was built right after the Civil War in the 1800s, crumbling. Kids were learning in trailers next to the railroad tracks. Every time the train went by, the teacher had to stop because the building shook so bad. But there are new prisons in South Carolina.